In my culture, death is not the end. It's been a few days since the death of Chadwick Boseman. I'm sure his death's still lingering in your heart. He was such an amazing talent on stage and an amazing actor as well. The Black Panther first appeared in Captain America's Civil War and then proceeded to make a major impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the credit for that goes to none other than the amazing actor who portrayed the character. As a tribute to the death of Chadwick Boseman, today we've decided to bring out the top 10 Black Panther moments in the MCU. Why don't we start off with the very action sequence that showed Chadwick Boseman's skills in stunts and action. This happens when T'Challa and his crew ambush Claw and his gang back in South Korea and he escapes in a car. T'Challa donning his superhero costume chases after the car. Now car chases are a neat trick used in all movies to give the audience some hype but the Black Panther movie keeps one step ahead of everyone with its well choreographed action sequences. From the speedy car chase to the nearly impossible stunts performed by T'Challa this went down as one of the most hype moments of the entire movie and one of the best action sequences of all time. Coming in next is the Killmonger versus T'Challa fight in the waterfall. The fight between Eric Killmonger and T'Challa was one of the most important scenes in the whole movie because this not only gave a unique fight scene but it was also what neatly shaped the character arc of T'Challa. As T'Challa inherited the throne from his father he had the belief that things should proceed the same way his father wanted to. He wasn't willing to see the flaws in his strategies and how Wakanda should adapt to the changes in the world. Then along comes Eric Killmonger, a person who'd seen what the nation's capable of and in this epic duel between him and T'Challa he not only brings down the king of Wakanda but shatters his pride along with it too. This reminded us why Killmonger was one of the most unique superhero antagonists of all time. At number 8 we've got T'Challa visiting the ancestral plane. You know the popular quote. In Wakanda, death is not the end. Indeed, this is the sequence that showed us that death wasn't the end for the former king of Wakanda as well. This was one of the most emotionally touching moments in the whole movie, with T'Challa indirectly trying to seek advice from his father about what to do. This showed T'Challa's own doubts and his lingering sadness for the loss of his father. The gorgeous visuals and the soundtrack complemented the scene's emotionality, and the colours used in the scene from T'Challa's white costume to the ambivalent lights in the sky only amplified the scene's potential. You're a good man with a good heart and it's hard for a good man to be king. Before that amazing car action sequence, we got the scene where T'Challa, Okoye and Nakia visit Busan in South Korea to capture Claw and his men. The bar scene's a rather important segment in the movie because this is where the side characters got to display their strength on their own. For example, Nakia got her own moment to shine as she took on Claw's men all alone. You cannot forget this scene from the movie because this was the scene where Stan Lee made his cameo appearance. You know what? I think I'll just take these bring them over here and hold on for safekeeping. This scene also had some great action sequences which paid tribute to the unique fighting style of the people of Wakanda. You know, you look just like your old man. Wakanda is proud to extend his hand in peace. Everybody get down! T'Challa's father's death comes in next. This was the moment the legacy passed onto T'Challa and it was also one of the most emotional twists the movie pulled on us. T'Chaka, the father of T'Challa, is only introduced for a few minutes in the scene but it established him as a great and benevolent leader but then amid everyone's surprise the bomb explodes killing many leaders along with T'Chaka. Then we see T'Challa fall upon his father's dead body with tears in his eyes. This was where Chadwick Boseman's acting was at its peak. From his body language to his facial expressions, he managed to bring an extra level of sadness to this scene because of his great acting. Don't bother Ms. Romanoff. I'll kill him myself. Mm. 
Wakanda forever! At number 5, we've got the Black Panther and Captain America versus Thanos' army. Now we all know Infinity War was a crowded superhero movie despite its great action, great story and its awe-inspiring villain. After all, this is the movie where Marvel tried to cram in all the heroes they've been creating over the years to one single story. But even though it may seem a little crowded, each hero got his moment to shine in the story. And Black Panther got his when he fought Thanos' army alongside Captain America and the rest of the Avengers. Once again, more focus was given to the action scene where T'Challa took down each of his opponents one by one using his melee skill alone. He also stood toe to toe with Captain America and for a moment we forgot the difference between the young panther and the superhuman who fought in the second world war. I almost killed the wrong man. Hardly an innocent one. This is all he wanted see them rip each other apart. Up next is T'Challa versus Zemo. If Black Panther was the movie where T'Challa learned about the flaws in his ideals and visions, then Captain America's Civil War was the movie where he learned the pointlessness of revenge. At first he thought it was the Winter Soldier that murdered his father and swore to murder him and nearly wreaked havoc trying to do so, but as he realised about Zemo and confronted him while the Captain and Tony Stark were nearly killing each other, he also understood that chasing after revenge was pointless. Vengeance has consumed you. It's consuming them. Even when Zemo speaks, you can see how T'Challa refuses to travel back in that path and even prevent the man from committing suicide. Tell that to the dead. The living are not done with you yet. Next up we have the scene where T'Challa returns. Here comes the proverb. The glory lies in not falling, but rising every time you fall. And boy, didn't T'Challa return with all his glory to defeat his cousin. The T'Challa we see now is completely different from whom we saw at the beginning of the movie. He realises his own flaws, sees his cousin is right in some aspects and sees his own mistakes as a leader. It may be the regular character arc of every king, but with Black Panther, it held more meaning than anything. T'Challa's return showed his willpower and strength, and you can see from the look of Killmonger that even he's impressed. I never yielded! And as you can see, I am not dead! The Black Panther fell down once, but he stood from his two feet and returned again, this time far mature and stronger. In the runner-up spot, we have Black Panther versus the Winter Soldier. You know what makes a superhero leave an impact on us? Their introduction. When Black Panther first appeared in the rooftops to stop the fleeing Winter Soldier, we didn't know who the man was behind the mask. So all of us were rather curious on who this new character was, and we were also impressed on how he managed to hold his own against an aged superhuman. Then came another car chase, where the man dressed in the Black Panther suit chased after the Winter Soldier in a subway, pulling out major stunts and causing enough chaos to bring out the authorities and when his mask was removed war machine wasn't the only one who was surprised about who he was Topping our list, we have the second and final fight between Black Panther and Killmonger. Now, as I mentioned before, the Black Panther who's arrived now is more mature than the Black Panther who Killmonger first fought, but that doesn't mean T'Challa won the fight easily. Killmonger dons his own Black Panther suit in this fight sequence, and the duel between these two is one of the best action sequences in Marvel movies to this day. Forget huge team battles and flashy visual effects, this was two members of the same family fighting for their legacy in their past. And of course, you can't forget Killmonger. Monger's last words, bury me in the ocean with my ancestors who jumped from the ships because they knew death was better than bondage. <sighs> And with that, our list comes to an end. I hope these scenes renewed your memory on how much of a great character Black Panther was to the MCU and how much Chadwick Boseman's skill and talent brought this character to life. If you're feeling sad about this loss, let me tell you, you aren't the only person feeling that way. Rest in peace, King. Your talent and your name will always be remembered by your fans. Wakanda forever. <laughs>